Good morning. What's going on? We're running late today. Miss Erica turned off all my alarms instead of just snoozing them. So, we're running late. And we're going. Good morning. What's up, Nick? Jeremiah? Good morning, fellas. It is Ta Ta Tuesday. And I say that because the radio show I listen to in the mornings, um, they have this competition called Real or Fake. And if you go over to 1057thepoint.com, click on the Rizzuto Show, click on Real or Fake, you can join the competition. So, it's a simple game. They played a 21. Each correct answer gets you one point. And you have one lock-in answer each week. Um, your lock, if you get it right, gets you two points. If you get it wrong, you're locked out and you get zero. Mark it zero for the week. But uh, it's a fun little game. It's interesting. It's challenging. It's a lot of fun. So you might want to go to 1057thepoint.com and check out The Real or Fake. It's a fun little game. But Good morning. What's up, Andrew, Scott, Justin? Boy, Arnold Park is still closed from the flood. I can't believe that. There must have been some nasty in that water. Oh, well, no, the river's still up. The river's still flooded. That's why it's still... It's been a month. That water hasn't gone all the way down. Goodness. All right. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, fellas. Um, so, hopefully, I'm going to get the, uh, the 65 Mustang fired up um, this morning, hopefully. I gotta prime the motor with oil, and then uh, I gotta wrestle the distributor into it. And I say that because I had it in there once, and the boss told me to take it back out. And when I did, it pulled out the whole um, the whole bottom part with the gear that runs off the cam. And um, this billet one happens to it should have kind of stayed in there, but it didn't. So, I gotta, I gotta screw with that a little bit. We'll get it in there, it'll be all right. Uh, I did not get a new tripod yet, um, h and H. I had my daughter's birthday last night, uh, but I thank you very much for that video, dude. And I, man, I don't know why I didn't get that particular tripod. I know I saw that at Walmart. I think it's because I was after a taller one um, when I was there. Um, which I did. I got the cheap little fifteen dollar fifty three inch tripod, which is okay. It'll it'll work for for taller stand up video shooting. But I am gonna get that uh, that other tripod. That's for sure. Oh, and I gotta go by Dollar Tree. Yes, we we do have Dollar Trees. We got Dollar Generals. We got Dollar Store. We got like three or four different kinds of dollar stores um, around, so I'm definitely, uh, I'll go check them out and get some of those selfie sticks so that I've got some backup uh, phone clamps, because that's awesome. You, my friend, are a genius. I mean, that is ingenuity at its best. Right on, and it's the flexi ones, and yeah, 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 for oh, sure. It's a cool green charger. It's not like super bright green like they normally are. It's kind of a dull green. Oh, oh come on, Rikers. Get on the move. You're getting on the highway at 40 miles an hour. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for this. We're not even doing 50 yet. We're merging onto the highway. Okay, we're going around you. Ah, friggin' landscape guy. 
nice. Uh, I got to, uh, I got to work, overslept this morning. Y'all have a good one. Oh, take it easy, buddy. Beagle Tech Tim, what's going on, man? How are things across the puddle? Good morning. Well, I guess it's probably afternoon for you, evening. There's an eight or nine hour difference. I overslept too today. Uh, what was that, Justin? I, I overslept too, buddy. Um, right on. Grab that Mountain Dew. Uh, ooh, Schmear Deer. Ugh. That Schmear Deer was about 250 yards long covered three lanes. Gross. Okay. Got some coffee in me, guys. I'm starting to wake up. I overslept a little bit, too, this morning by a mm, half hour. Good morning, Rustin. Trusted? What's going on, buddy? Um... Yeah, I watched uh, watched Dow's live stream, the first one from the garage last night. That was awesome. Uh, I did not get to catch his stream from the house though. After that, uh, I end up going to bed. A two-hour time difference doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. It makes a big difference. What's up, Jason Cole? Good morning. So hopefully we've gotten the uh, the parts we needed for the dyno because the CTSV with the cam and spring job should be done today. Oh, that's really loud. Um, should be done today, and then it's going to need some dyno time. Oh great, looks like lots of people overslept because the back, highway's backed up. This on-ramp here, hopefully I can get around a lot of these. But that freaking round bale is still there. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I was watching the news and the weather girls, or the traffic girls said that uh, traffic was actually still doing pretty good. But she was a liar. Because traffic is backed up already. That's what happens. I hit the highway like 15 minutes later today. And, uh, my email H and H is A C E. The number two F is in Frank I N E. So Ace Two Fine at gmail.com, buddy. Uh, it should be on my channel, but I don't think it is for some reason. I gotta. I still gotta edit all that stuff. I gotta go on there and um, make that right. Cause yeah, I need to. I need to put my email on there. I need to put my Instagram and uh, I don't know that I'll. Yeah, I'd probably put my Facebook on there too, um, just to cover all the socials. Come on, people. Holy shit! Oh man. I like the color of the Scion. Little FRS. Those pretty cool little cars. Same thing as the Toyota 88 and the uh, Subaru BRZ. All the exact same cars. Oh, we're kind of dark. Let's let in some light. Yeah, that doesn't help. All right. Well, whatever. So what does everybody else have going on? Ace to, uh, no, A-C-E, the number two, F-I-N-E, Ace to Fine, at Gmail. Or was he, oh, I'm sorry, you were probably telling me yours. 
ASEF 25. No. <laughs> You're almost there. You're getting closer. Okay, you got it? Alright. What's up, Nick? Good morning. Time to work already. Uh, my elbow seems to be getting worse, guys. Hey, good morning, Chuck. Send me an email, I'll get it. That's that's what I do. Work until almost eleven last night? Jeez, Chuck. Why does it take you so long to do headliners, man? <laughs> Good morning, Chuck. What's going on, buddy? I'm sorry you had to work so late, dude. Was it just that that leather kit or what was going on? late and I didn't bring my remote control car oh man dang it dang it dang it uh. yeah you getting backed up buddy I know how that is man we it happens to us all the time at the shop for us, it seems like uh, it, it like it's waves, man. Um, when we're coming up the waves, we're getting cars out, we're getting stuff busted out. Finished the leather kit around seven and delivered it. Then came back and worked on the stupid headliner. I got you, buddy. Um, uh, so you know, when when we're going up the waves, everything's going great. We're doing good. We're moving forward. We're getting the cars out. And then we crest, we hit the top of the wave, we, we're getting our schedule where our, our workflow is, you know, all our scheduled work is coming in, and then we start falling down into the, into the valley of the waves, man, and it's like, the valleys seem to be a lot longer than the climbs, or the, the peaks, you know, um, having to do things twice sometimes things just, you know, we can install everything we want to install and then something screwy rears its head and it's like unforeseen things like, dude, that, the harmonic balancer on that CTSV, I broke three pullers, I broke every puller in the shop and then went and the boss went and borrowed one from another shop and I broke that puller trying to get that freaking thing off of there and it's just weird shit like that keeps happening, man, and I don't know. Some vehicles come in and they're cursed to begin with, and got laptop fixed. Should get some more vids up this week. Heck yeah, Rust and Trusted. I look forward to seeing them, buddy. Um, I didn't charge nearly enough for that stupid headliner. Do you get paid for the, or do I get paid by the hour? Or do you get paid? I get paid by the hour. I do get paid by the hour. Um, I won't do flat rate. It's just not, uh, I'm not that good. I'm not good enough to do flat rate. Um, if I was at a dealership and it was basically the same stuff all the time, uh, probably. <laughs> um, but in, in custom, there, there's no way I could do flat rate. There just isn't. Um, maybe after a couple of years, after I've done, you know, lift kits on every newer style truck but it'd be my luck now that I've got the uh, the Dodge and Chevy lift kits pretty well down and I can do these long arm kits real quick now and um, and all that stuff uh, they'll we'll have a fucking Toyota come in or something stupid I'll get a Honda Ridgeline that somebody wants a fucking 10 inch lift kit on and like what <laughs> what like I don't even know where to start 
hopefully I'll have that headliner done sometime this morning. I have another leather kit to do today and I have to refill the convertible top motor reservoir and troubleshoot where it's leaking. Holy crap. So, uh, hydraulic, hydraulic convertible top? Right on. It's not, uh, not cable driven. I haven't played with a whole lot of uh, convertible tops. I did recover one in school, which that was interesting. The round body Mustang. Like a mid 90s Mustang. What's up, David Kilburn? Good morning. <laughs> Andrew, the sun. <laughs> I figured that's what you were trying to say, but it was kind of funny that it came out like that. All of them are either hydraulic. <coughs> really? I thought I thought there were cable driven ones. Yeah, right on. Maybe that's just older ones, I guess. Might be cable driven. Am I tripping? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've only messed with one convertible top ever, and it was that, that one Mustang in, in tech. Um. So what, um, just curious, what took so long for, uh, on, or what's so, what's so crappy about the headliner, buddy? Is it all the, all the shit just to get it out of the car? I know that's, that seems like the biggest pain in the ass to me is all the friggin' plastic and handles and visors and, you know, sunroof. All that crap is like, seemed to be the biggest pain in the ass for me when I did my headliner, which, um. Chuck, you gotta go find me on Facebook, man. You gotta check out my, uh, go through a bunch of my uh, my photo albums so you get a chance. Uh, my last, not the blazer that's in my driveway now, but the Jimmy that I had before uh, was a four door. And I redid all four doors in it. I did the headliner, I wrapped the dash um, in faux, faux leather. Um, I didn't have any way to buy like any of the legit shit at the time. I was just doing it in my garage for shits and giggles, and I was working in, working in construction. But uh, I did a big old Superman in the headliner over the cargo area, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It didn't take long for my 512s to uh, to toast the headliner though. Hey, good morning, Adam. Yes, I do have my big cup this morning. Thank God. That must have been my email that sent the blank. Oh, it could have been. Uh, I did get an email. And it's from H&H. &H. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> right on, man. Um, it has an aftermarket sunroof in it, so they cut the original headliner to put an insert in. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, it was two boards, essentially, I took and made. Uh, made it one board. Really hope it still fits now. Oh, crap. Yeah. I hope so, man. I hope you can get it worked out, buddy. I know those things can really be a pain in the ass. My sunroof never did work right after, um, after I did that, the, the little door. <laughs> I don't know if the material was just thicker than it, than it was supposed to be, or if I tightened down the track too tight, or what, but my, the damn door wouldn't open and close anymore so it was permanently closed after that. <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. I was an idiot. Uh, check it out. I can find you easy. Like my shop page. Yes I did. Yes I did. So you can find me on there. But yeah man I did uh, I did some pretty cool stuff at Wyotech. Some cool interior stuff. Um, I helped a lot on this uh, Camaro that we did. Um, and you'll see that in there. It's a, a blue and black 67 SS. Um, we did a full interior job on it. Custom airbrushing and uh, the trunk panels. Uh, my boy Danny did the, the main trunk panel. That's badass, dude. It's got three different layers of, uh, of foam in it. That's right, Trim Life. Um, but it's got three different layers of foam that makes up two, uh, two 357 magnums on the, on the trunk lid. 
dude is badass. Super cool. Super nice car. We did LEDs in the in the custom door panels and all kinds of stuff. Trim life matters. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you got it. Tech lives matter. Oh man, finally moving a little bit here, guys. We're, we're pretty much stopped on the highway there for a little bit. Oh, 7-Eleven, I should be, should be about eight miles down the highway from here by now. And we're braking again. Yay! Mm. Oh man, I forgot to get creamer yesterday. So we've got vanilla bean coffee with milk and sugar. Mm. It's not horrible. It's, it's tolerable. It's still no hazelnut creamer. I kid you not, guys, I put this much creamer in this coffee cup every day because I'm a freak like that. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. That's a lot of high fructose corn syrup, though. I'm going to get shirts made up with a new trim light logo. Heck yeah, I'll buy one. I will definitely buy a shirt. I got to get some of Dallas shirts, too. Um. Definitely got to get some of that. I got to get these cars fixed up that are in my driveway and get these sold. Pay off my toolbox because that $300 a month is killing me right now. I got to get that damn thing paid off. Um, probably this week or next, I'm going to order uh, six GoPros. Oh, snap. Put them in different spots around the shop. Brakes, 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 brakes. So we can do a legit internet show with different angles. I'm still going to live stream also. Dude, that's awesome. That'll be super cool, Chuck. Do you guys find like are there are there decent deals on GoPros? I haven't I still haven't actually looked into any GoPros, but um it seems like GoPros are kind of the way to go in doing this. Everything I find is like made for GoPros, it seems like. Um, and some of, uh, quite a few of the other channels that I do watch, like Street Speed 717, that's all that kid uses is one little GoPro. And Jesus criminy, that dude's got a great content. I mean, he does a lot of good editing. Um, you can buy the Hero Session right now for 150 It's the little one. Okay, isn't it, I assume it's high def and buy it from GoPro okay I assume it's a high definition camera and all that stuff uh, are they are they Wi-Fi are they wireless or you, you got it you probably got to have a camera to hook them or a computer to hook them into I would assume hmm I don't know the only thing that sucks is that you can't change batteries oh shit well I mean, my phone is plugged in right now. I have a power inverter inside my center console. Oh, and 4K. Sweet. Because that's, that's the thing I love about using my phone is not necessarily this front-facing camera that we're on right now, but the rear camera, the main camera, is 4K. But the 4K and shit is only as good as the internet connection anyway. I mean... Flip screen so you can see yourself filming. Um, I don't think so. I, with the GoPros, it's all—it's just one little camera, and I think there's a screen on the back side of it. But it's—they're usually encased in a hard plastic deal. Um, oh man, that's so you charge them and that's it. You can't keep them plugged in while you're filming and stuff. That's a bummer. It doesn't have a screen, but you can use the GoPro app on your phone to look at what's what it's filming. Okay. It's like a one inch cube, that's all. Okay. Well that's pretty cool. I'm I'm gonna have to look into those GoPros. 
with all this YouTube content, it's hard for me to look into any dadgum thing anymore, man. I'm so excited to, to go and watch new videos that everybody's putting up or, or get into live streams and stuff. I just, I don't, have, I don't have time to look at anything else. Like, I'm all about the YouTube right now. I'm digging it. not sure about leaving them plugged in. I'm sure you probably can't. I would hope so. I mean, because I know they're, they're tiny little cameras, and then, uh, so the battery in that's got to be super small, and I wouldn't think that you'd be able to get a whole lot of, um, a whole lot of film time out of it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you can be able to plug them in, otherwise, um, micro ST slot in it too. Okay. Well, that at least I could take <clears throat> in that case, then I could do some editing. I mean, I could edit some of my videos on my phone, but the editing software that I have currently isn't all that fantastic. Samsung's editor is just kind of, video editor is kind of crap. So I'm going to go through um, and delete a bunch of stupid apps that I don't use anymore and I'm going to find some new video editing apps and uh, try those out and see what I can do. I need to get an intro done. It has become time consuming trying to watch everyone's stuff. It's still better than TV. Yeah, I hear that. GoPro has free editing software. Chunky loves it. Alright. Alright, trust it. Good morning, Mr. Sadie. I don't watch TV anymore, just straight out loss. Yeah, yeah. Um, I tell you what, we just, Erica, Erica works for AT&T. So, cable keeps going up. And I'm, I'm done with paying for cable TV. It's not gonna happen anymore. It's going away. Because we just signed up for DirecTV now. And with my unlimited plan and the fact that she works at AT&T, we can get DirecTV now on her phone, my phone, and we're getting a fire stick sent to us with DirecTV on it that I'm going to fucking modify. And, um, well, see, Chuck, we're not, we're not getting the DirecTV with the dish and all that shit. We just have it so that we can stream it anywhere, anytime. So we don't have to deal with fucking weather and everything else killing our, killing our signal. Alright, time to shower. Go, buddy. You smell funny anyway. <laughs> um, get off my ass and turn some wrenches. Have an awesome day. Alright, H&H. &H, you too, buddy. Thanks for coming by. Uh, the Direct TV now, what I was getting at was with Erica working for AT&T, so she gets an employee discount, but also because we have the unlimited plan on our phones, it's only 10 bucks a month. 10 bucks a month and I can stream HBO and shit from my phone anywhere I go and it doesn't use any of my data uh, so which my, I have unlimited data anyway up to 20 gigs once I hit 20 or 22 gigs then it could be slowed down when I'm in areas that um, have high usage on the tower it hasn't happened yet so um but I have unlimited data too, not throttled. I tell you what, man, um, Erica can can help people out anywhere in the country. She doesn't have to just deal with people that walk into the store. Um, if you want to call her, I can get you her number, and um, you can call her and just find out what, what it would cost for you guys to get it. If you've already got AT&T and you've already got the unlimited plan, I think it's like $25 or $35 a month. Plus you get the... Uh, the fire stick which when you get that um, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret you can jailbreak that little thumb drive oh you have T-Mobile oh that's a bummer uh, I don't like T-Mobile I had T-Mobile for a while and they kind of hosed me when I moved to Wyoming they said they were gonna cancel all my shit because they didn't have service there and they didn't um, But dang. Yeah, if you had AT&T um, with the unlimited plan, 
then DirecTV is only like $25 a month for you, or $35 a month with HBO. Um, and that's unlimited streaming anywhere you want on your on two devices. And then you have the thumb drive that goes into your, your TV, and you can jailbreak that and put Kodi on it, which Kodi is amazing. If you guys don't know about Kodi, it's K-O-D-I. Look it up. There's hundreds of videos on YouTube how to set it up, what it is, what it does, and it's thebomb.com. I have it on my phone, and until we got DirecTV now, that's what I was watching everything on. Dude, you can watch movies that are in the theaters right now. Like, Cody is the bomb. Right on, Chuck. Take it easy, man. Get in the shower. Get your day moving. Dang, guys. I got my big coffee cup back, and I've already damn near drank all of it. Sweet. Oh, wait. What Jeep? Are you talking about that awesome red and black Jeep? That red and black Jeep. I, that's your boss's, I guess you said, or, or just a friend of yours. That thing is gorgeous. What, uh, if it's that Jeep, what's he wanting done for? Done to it. Tell you what, though, um, I, if he's wanting turbo, cool. Um, it, it would be quite a bit more expensive to turbo it, I believe, just because you got to do the special headers and everything else. I don't know if they make headers for it. I don't know what kind of kits are out there for it, but I do know that we had one of those Jeeps with the, I think it's a 3.6 liter or 3.8 liter V6 in it now. Um, they don't do the four liter straight sixes anymore, I guess. Um, but it's, I think it's a little better cost effective to supercharge it. Um, we just sold, we had one at the shop and sold it for the customer, listed it and sold it for the customer. And it was, it was topped out just like that Jeep, but it was supercharged. I think he'd, he'd put a pro charger on it and dude, that thing was, it was pretty nice. It, it, it worked really well. Um, the pro charger gives you a cool sound. You know, you got that, that supercharger whistle. Um, the biggest thing is, is those things just aren't geared for the highway and everything. So you're going down the highway at 70 miles an hour with the big 36, 37, 38 inch tires. And it's the transmission's constantly trying to figure out where it wants to be. It's like shifting constantly and stuff. Um, but for off-road use, also, the supercharger is a better way to go. <clears throat> okay, supercharger. Yeah, it is a V6 pooch. Yeah, those little V6s they put in there now are, they are, they're kind of a pooch. But, dude, please bring that Jeep up to the shop. Oh my gosh. I know it's a long drive, man. It, it is, it's, it's about a 40, 45 minute drive, especially if you're, um, if you're, if you're wanting to uh, pull something or tow something you guys drive it up that's not so bad um, but it's well worth it trust me it's well worth it um, and my boss would he'll flip out when he sees that Jeep so he loves the off-road stuff I love the off-road stuff it's a lot of fun be there early next week cool man I can't wait to see it can't wait to meet you too we've been chatting on this thing here for a little while and I got to do some more catching up on videos again. Everybody's doing all these live streams and you know, they end up lasting for hours. And I've been falling behind on my uh, my video watching. So I got to get back over and catch up. Uh, so 
I don't know what I've got going on in the shop today. I did a lot of organizing and cleaning up some stuff yesterday. Um, we're kind of in a nice little lull right now at the shop. We don't have a ton of stuff scheduled right at the moment. Um, the boss did that on purpose so that we'd have some time to, to kind of catch up on some things, get some of these older projects out of the shop. Hey, good morning, Cummins Camping. Real, I need to catch up to. Yeah, hey guys, I tell you what, um, go check out Mr. Sadie. Um, if you guys are into Jeeps and, and custom vehicles and stuff, he's got a couple of really awesome videos. Um, the ones where he does a, uh, a winch lift for uh, this Jeep roof. It's it's got a hard top for the Jeep, and he did this uh, this lift system in his. I guess it's his boss's house that uh his boss can back into the garage throw a strap around this this uh hard top undo the pins and just lift it right up off the jeep and it just hangs from the ceiling dude this jeep is sick guys i mean top-notch work absolutely top-notch work whoever built this jeep um they're a fantastic job i mean absolutely gorgeous and it's cool. It's black and it's red and it's mean and it's freaking awesome. And I want one. But go check out his page, guys. Good stuff over there. I had 10 to 15 notices when I got to work this morning. Knock some out on the drive home. Yeah, I know, right? Like every day I wake up and my I've got like my whole uh, notification bar is just. YouTube, 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 all the way across. Morning, Frankie. So, uh, also, guys, um, awesome, Juan. Thank you for that, buddy. Um, also, guys, um, tonight, uh, around 6 or 7, is the cutoff for the 100 sub giveaway on my channel so if you haven't watched the 100 sub giveaway video please go do that follow the directions and um, tonight I'm gonna close off the comments I'm gonna count how many comments are there at we'll say 7 o'clock and that's gonna be my final number any more comments after that won't be included so um, I'll go in and I'll do that tonight when I get home. Special order out of California. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, I don't I don't know what shop built that thing, man, but whew, damn they did a good job. I'd done a, uh, a video yesterday of the, the headlights that that we did on that F-150. <clears throat> Gotta fix the right frame rail. There's a four inch long crack in it. Holy moly. In what, Nick? I'm sorry, man. The comments were flying by there for a minute. I didn't have a chance to... Uh, to swipe through them, see what see what was going on. Gotta let some of this vape out of here, guys. Looking like Cheech and Chong in here. Jetta frame rail. Holy moly. You're going to have to grind her all up and prep it and weld it all back together or what? <clears throat> Phil D12 asked me to have everyone to check out his channel. He's been going live but has no subscribers. Um, I did subscribe to Phil 
Uh, I don't know that I clicked the notification bell, but I will do that. Learn's message group. Uh, yeah, I've got 33 notifications in it right now, Rusted. Um, yeah, absolutely, Frankie. No problem, buddy. I will, I will go and check that out um, after we get to the shop and I send my email. Um, it's going to be a, a quick bit at the uh, shop this morning. We'll get in, I'll send my email off, and then, uh, and then I'll probably have to kill the stream because I'm running late today. Yeah, as long as it's not in the crush zone, Nick, you should be fine with that. Yeah, we just, uh, uh, definitely guys, go check out Phil D12's page. Um, apparently he's been going live, but, um, doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers, so let's go over and show some support. Um, check him out too. And guys, if you haven't sent your email off this morning to GearWrench, go over to GearWrench.com. Go to the, uh, forward slash contact us and send them an email telling them how much and why you think Jay Young should be the face of Gear Wrench for their YouTube campaign. So we need to we need to support our boy Jay Young, Mr. Big, the sheriff of YouTube. And that's what's up. I think I need to shave again. My face is getting scruffy. Need a haircut. My hair's getting long. So yeah, we're almost to the shop now. We got about five more minutes and we'll be there. Uh, we'll go in, I'll send off my morning email. And I, I want I want to see so many emails get sent to them that they either shut off their contact page or um, they put out a YouTube video or something. I want, I want some kind of response from Gear Wrench to come from all of this. I want that many emails going to them. I think that'd be great. Maybe I'll start sending two a day. Maybe I'll send one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Heck yeah, Mr. Sadie. That's what we're all about, man. This, this little tool community that I fell into is uh it's really awesome man There's a lot of really good guys on here um the camaraderie the brotherhood the you know the loyalty uh it's really awesome i'm i'm so glad i found this this group of people it's uh it's been really good it's been really really good there you go nick that a boy just sub your channel. Thanks, Frankie M. Thanks, Cummins Camping. You guys are awesome. You guys are freaking awesome, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Good job, Nick. Woo -hoo. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh. Boy, I slept like a doggone log last night. Oh, good stretch. Oh, man. You ever have one of those that you just don't want to stop? Oh, that's a good stretch. Back feels a lot better now. Um, so what else is going on? Um, hopefully, uh... Mingins gets a call today from the garage and everything's going to work out with the insurance situation so he can get hired on there. Um, I didn't know he would have to drive the tow truck, which that's cool. So he might have to go um, pick cars up and drop cars off. And Lunar's Mafia is always here to support. Heck yeah. Lunar's Brotherhood is here to help. Yes, sir. That's what's up, Nick. Hey, Mingins. I was just talking about you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Hope that all works out, man. I know. I know you need it. I know you, uh, you're you looking forward to it. And we're, we're here to help you, buddy. We're here to support you. And we look forward to it, too. Oh, that 
sun's bright. Yeah, no problem, buddy. So we're almost to the shop. We'll be at the shop here in just a minute. Tuesday, <clears throat> um, so yeah, if uh, you guys have come in here later, um, I titled this one Tata -ta Tuesday because, Bones, would you like to come to this frame rail for me, please? Yeah, it's, that's, uh, those can be a pain in the butt. Um, I don't know what VW's undercoating is like. Um, I would assume it's just, uh, just paint on the frame rail. Um, which shouldn't be too bad. Just uh, take a little 90 degree, sand that stuff all back nice. And dang, the boss is already here. Oh boy. <clears throat> um, sand it back, prep it nice. Um, get your fish plate made up and uh, get that sucker welded in. Just uh, make sure you jump around. Don't, don't try to continuously weld all the way around your fish plate because you could do more damage to the frame rail than good. Um, you could warp that frame rail metal a little bit and then um, you kind of be in a bad bad spot. Uh, all right, let's crack these windows a little bit because it's going to be hot today. <clears throat> um, so anyway, what I, was, what I was saying was for those of you that came in a little late, um, it's a fun little game. It's a little competition that I think we could all get in onto here. Um, it's kind of fun. There's a there's this bit that they do on the morning radio show I listen to. It's called Real or Fake, okay? And you'll know exactly what's going on once you go and you see this, okay? Go to 1057thepoint.com and click on the Rizzuto show. Click on Real or Fake. Um, basically, what it is is there's three photos and you have to do, you have to make your your pick on whether they're real or they're fake. Um, each correct answer gets you one point. Each wrong answer gets you no point, and then you have one lock for the week. You lock in on which photo you are most confident on. If you get your lock right, you get two points for that particular pick. If you get it wrong, you're locked out. You get no points. You play to 21, okay? So, it's a fun little game. You guys should check it out. Um, I think you guys, I think we could, uh, we could all kind of get in on this since I do this every single day um, on on Monday they put the new photos up on Friday they release the answers um, Friday at about 10 o'clock in the morning central time okay so um, we could go over the the results on my Friday afternoon drive home but it's a fun little friendly competition I think you guys would enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. All right. Just got in the shop. Let's get over here and send my email real quick. And then, uh, gotta get moving. I don't know what we got going on on this truck. I've done, uh, I've done a little bit of work on that one already. But let's go on here, turn you guys around, boom, boom, about, contact, bam, uh, website feedback, business name, Do, 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 do. Here we go, here we go. Come on, where is it? Uh, 
United States. Um, come on, scroll back up. Well, wow, the up scroll on the mouse isn't working today. Missouri. Address. Bam. And paste. There we go. K385M. Ooh, no space. And submit. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Bam. Submission has been received. That's what's up, guys. Uh, definitely got to check out your channel some more, Frankie M. I know I've seen a couple of your videos, but I got to get up. I got to catch up on a bunch of stuff. Got me some half inch impact sockets now. Heck yeah, minions. Rest of sub to junkie. I'm sub to junkie. Uh, just sub your channel, Nick. Now make a video. Yes, Nick, you got to get some videos up, man. Got to get some videos up, buddy. Um, let's see. Get you guys turned back around here. Okay, so um, that's it for the uh, for the stream this morning, guys. Like I said, I'm running a little behind. Um, let's go back over here to the toolbox. <sighs> you got the 65 up in the air again. Um, Oh my gosh, toolbox is kind of a disaster right now. Had the bad day box out yesterday, tap and die set. It wasn't really a bad day. I only had it out because I was chasing some threads, cleaning them up on this thing. Um, let my channel on your computer. Can I look up your channel on the computer? Um, yeah, Frankie, I was, I'll, I was gonna actually pull it up on my phone so I can watch and listen to some of your stuff on uh while i'm getting moving this morning here um people are telling me that they can't find me on youtube okay let's go do this uh let's see here um let's do a new tab Go to YouTube. Um, okay, so I'm up here in the search, and we're gonna go Frankie M. Period. Enter. That's weird. Let's go to filters. Um, sort by short, long video channel. Sort by channel. Frankie M, is this you, bud? No, that's not yours. Where's your, where is your logo? Oh, there you are. Right there, buddy. You were on the second page, but I found you. There you are, man. So that's what they need to do, man. They need to type your name in the search bar. We'll do this again real quick. So type your name in the search bar. Click search. Okay, so it brings up all this crap. Now we need to go right here to filters and click channel. And then we'll scroll down here through all these people that are not you. Boy, are you sure that's not you, Frankie? Um, um, and then we get down, come down here to the bottom and go to the second page, number two, and then scroll about halfway down. And there you are, buddy. Right there. 
Yeah, buddy. That's all you got to do, fellas. Yeah, no problem, Frankie M. Yeah, we do need to get you on the uh, on the first page there, bud. But it does say, look at this. Uh, so when I went to channels, there are 7,150 channels with the name Frankie M in the uh, in the title. So I don't understand why it doesn't pick up the the fact that I put in the period because I did. I put in Frankie M period. Now let's try this. Let's see if I go and I do. Um, Let's do it like this, and we'll put it in exactly how your name is, okay? Hit enter. Okay, it still brings up this guy. We don't care about that guy. Hey, good morning, Justin. You're here, buddy. Um, and then you go to filters, and we'll go channel. Okay, it's still, that's really weird. Uh, YouTube needs to fix their, their search feature so that it pulls up the most relevant search result for exactly what you type in because there you're still in the exact same spot buddy and there's people with less videos ahead of you so it's definitely not by your video count um, so I don't know but uh, I gotta rock and roll guys I gotta go get uh, in my uniform and uh, all that good stuff good morning Justin Dow What's up, buddy? Sorry I missed your second live stream last night uh, when you got back to the house. Um, I couldn't make it, man. I fell asleep in my chair for a little bit. I uh, woke up and got Erica and the boys all back to, to bed and stuff, and then I passed out too. So um, I missed the second live stream. But, dude, the backdrop, the, uh, the workbench at the new, at the new shop, the new, uh, the new place, uh, the do that is we got to figure out how to get you that uh facing that direction man because that backdrop is awesome it looks great everybody have a great day be safe and uh i'll catch you on this afternoon's stream on the way home later